Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at brush attributes in Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2. When you press Start, you get a blank canvas with the animation already playing. If I start drawing, I'm just using sort of the default line brush. So what we're going to do is change the attributes of this brush and see how we can change its appearance. If I press the X button, on the top screen you see the brush menu. By using the circle pad, I can scroll up and down this list of attributes and whichever one is highlighted I can change the value by sliding left and right on the circle pad. So here I'm changing the opacity of the brush, which is basically the transparency of it. I can change the size, which is basically the thickness of the line. I have something called growth which is also the thickness, but it changes the thickness over time. So I can have a brush that starts out very thin, and then the faster I draw, the brush gets thicker. So here I've got a thin brush, and then as I draw faster, it gets thicker. Uh, smoothing, that just smooths out my line if, in case my hand is sort of jittery. The length, that's the length of the sort of snake trail that you're drawing with. Circle pad is kind of interesting. This determines the behavior of the circle pad control uh, as you're drawing. So if I turn off the brush menu and I start drawing and I move the circle pad, then the color wheel pops up and I can change the color of my line as I'm actually drawing. If I go back, open up the brush menu again, if I change this setting to drift, what happens is when I'm drawing and I push the circle pad, that causes the line to actually drift in whatever direction I press the circle pad. So you can do some pretty trippy line effects that way. Now let's take a look at another shape, uh, uh, another brush tool, the shape brush. If you look at the top screen, you can see the list of attributes has changed and each brush tool in Butterfly has a different set of attributes. A lot of these are the same as the uh, line brush though, the opacity, the size, and growth. But, for example, the first one here is the actual shape I'm drawing with, with the shape brush. I can draw with a circle, I can draw with a box, I can draw with a triangle. I've got kind of a mess here, so what I'm going to do is erase what I've done so far. Press the Y button to open the timeline then this minus icon will give you an option to erase layer. And that way, start fresh with the shape brush. So here I've got the triangle selected. Um, I'm going to raise up the size so we can see it a little bit better. We have a setting called aspect, and that's the aspect ratio where you can make it squash or stretch the shape. You can change the corners so that they're either sharper or more rounded. Um, we have something called rotation, and this is interesting. You can have the shape actually rotate as you draw. And you can control the speed of rotation with the value here. If I change the type of rotation to path, what that does is it causes the rotation value to match the direction that I'm actually drawing. So I've got path rotation and I'm going to add a value of 90 degrees to that. So what that will do is cause the shape to look like it's pointing in the direction I draw. Finally, let's, uh, oh well here's the border settings. You can change the thickness of the border. The border color is set to darker right now so that if I change the fill color, the border color just gets set automatically to a darker color. I can change that to lighter. Um, or I can set it to a custom value. So whatever whatever color I want for the border. There's something called bleed where it actually causes the border color to bleed into whatever you have set as your fill color. So that's kind of an interesting effect. And finally, we can give this shape a drop shadow. 
so it gives sort of a nice depth effect to it. Now, you know, you can go through a lot of work picking these different settings. So it would be nice to be able to save any particular set so we can go back to it at any time. And that's what we have presets for. If I open up the tool chooser, along the top you have a menu for each brush type. And you see a list of presets. I can create my own preset from the current setting just by tapping plus and then enter a name. So I'm going to call this triangle bleed. And now it appears at the top of my list of presets. So to show you an example, I'm going to erase my screen again. And let's choose an older preset. How about this box grid? This uses the grid setting to force the shapes to appear on a grid. And now if I like, I can go back and choose the preset that I just made. And so that lets you quickly choose between sets of custom attributes. And that's a look at shape attributes and presets in Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2.